and this is Sir O, your teacher once again. So in our session today, we are going to talk about equations, transformable and quadratic equations. So in this topic, uh, this would somehow test your knowledge on the different mathematical concepts and principles that we have studied or we have discussed in the previous sessions. So another thing that we are going to remember in this topic is actually the standard form of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So we have to remember that all equations should be written in the standard form of the quadratic equation for us to solve or to find the roots or solutions of our equations. So let us now begin with an example number one. So we are asked to solve x quantity x minus 5 is equal to 36. Now this is an equation that is actually not written in the standard form of the quadratic equation. What we are going to do first is we are going to simplify this expression first by multiplying x by x and we're multiplying x and negative 5. So we have x squared minus 5x is equal to 36. Now, since this is not yet equated to 0, so what we are going to do is we transpose first 36 so that we have x squared minus 5x minus 36 equals 0. Now, since our equations is already in the standard form or written in the standard form of the quadratic equation, we are now ready to solve our quadratic equation. Actually, there are five ways for us to solve this. We have discussed this already in our previous session. But if you have not watched or are able to understand the concepts yet, there is actually a link at the top of our video here. You can click this one first and watch these topics here and just go back to this tutorial. Now, since our quadratic equation, the coefficient of x squared is 1, which is imaginary, so we could somehow use factoring. So in factoring, if we can still recall this one, x squared minus 5x minus 36 equals 0, we will look for two factors. So maghahanap po tayo ng dalawang factors po, na kung multiply natin is negative 36, and if we add them, the result should be negative 5. So, tama po kayo, that is x minus 9, x plus 4 equals 0. Diba po, ang negative 9 times 4 is negative 36. At ang negative 9 plus 4 po is negative 5. So, sa mga tweet, ito po yung factors natin. And after this, we will equate them both to 0. So, simulan po natin sa x minus 9 x minus 9 equals 0, then we transpose negative 9. Siyempre po, x is equal to 9. So next naman po is ang x plus 4 equals 0. Transpose 4, that will give us x is equal to negative 4. Hindi po natin masasabi sa ngayon na si x is equal to 9, x is equal to negative 4 is the solution of the given equation. So kailangan po natin ipakita yung checking. So, simulan po natin ng x is equal to 9. Of course, for us to check, kopyahin muna natin yung original na equation that is given. So, which is x times x minus 5 plus 36. So, ang gagawin lang po natin, papalitan lang po natin yung lahat ng x, ng 9, ito. So, dalawang x, palitan po natin ng 9. Ayan, minus 5 is equal to 36. So, 9 minus 5 po is 4, and 9 times 4 po is 36 equals 36. So, yung x is equal to 9 is a true solution to our given equation. So, tingnan naman po natin yung x is equal to negative 4. Totoo din po. Sa so, makatwip po, si x is equal to negative 4 is a true solution po ng ating given na equation. So, ang sagot po natin sa problem number 1 is x is equal to 9 and x is equal to negative 4. So, kung may katanungan naman po kayo, pwede niyo pong uh, i-comment po sa baba. Malugod ko po itong sasagot. Question number 2. We are asked to solve quantity b plus 5 squared plus quantity b minus 2 squared equals 37. So, in this example po, ang gagawin po natin is Siyempre, 
kopyahin po natin yung given na uh, equation. What we are going to do here is we are going to expand. No? So, expand po natin ang P plus 5 squared at saka P minus 2 squared. Dalawa po ang paraan, gagamitin nyo po kung magaling po kayo ng square of binomial, square binomial po ang gamitin natin. Pero in this tutorial po, eh, ang gagamitin natin is ang pag-expand po na gagamitin natin ang point method para maintindihan po natin yung process. So, pag-expand natin, ito yung mangyayari, syempre P plus 5, dalawa yan. So, we expanded them to 2, uh, P plus 5 multiplied by P plus 5, ganun din po sa P minus 2 squared. And after this, of course, we will apply FOIL method po. So, recall po natin yung FOIL method natin. So, if you notice, di ba, P times P po is P squared. 5 times P is 5P. P times 5 is 5P. And 5 times 5 is 20. So, ganun din po ang gagawin natin sa pang expanded na form po ng P minus 2 squared. So, kung napapansin nyo po, ah, naka-highlight na po yung mga similar terms. So, ang ibig pong sabihin nun, we will be combining similar terms. So, if we combine them, if you notice, 5P plus 5P po is 10P. So, kinopya ko lang po yung P squared at saka 25. Ganon din dito, negative 2P minus 2P is negative 4P. So, dito naman po, I highlighted all the similar terms. So, tulad po ng P squared at saka P squared, then P at saka negative 4P, at 25 at saka 4. So, ang gagawin natin, we will combine those similar terms. So, we have, so ang gagawin natin next is, transpose po natin ng 37 sa other side ng equation, kasi po dapat naka-equate ito ng 0. So, we have 2P squared plus 6P, ayan na naman ulit. Uh, we have similar terms which is 29 and negative 37. Simplifying that one, of course, 2P squared plus 6P minus 8 is equal to 0. Now, since po ang 2 is common in each term sa expression na ito, so we will multiply both sides by 1 half. So, mangyayari po, P squared plus 3P minus 4 equals 0. Kasi po, di ba, makakansin na po yung 2. 6 divided 2 is 3. Yung negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4 equals 0. Now, since ang ating equation is already written in a quadratic equation or in the standard form of the quadratic equation, pwede na po natin gagamitin ang ating factory. So, P squared plus 3P minus 4 equals 0. Maghahanap lang po tayo ng dalawang factor which is factor when we multiply is negative 4 pag-add natin, the result is positive 3. So, syempre po, tama po kayo. P plus 4, P minus 1. Diba po, ang 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 4 minus 1 is positive 3. So, equate natin ang P plus 4 at saka P minus 1 equals 0. Unahin muna natin yung P plus 4. P plus 4 equals 0. Transpose yung 4 natin. P is negative 4. So, dito naman po, yung P minus 1 equals 0, transpose natin yung negative 1. So, ang P po natin is 1. Again, hindi po natin masasabi, ito na po yung solution. Unless po, ipapapakita natin sa checking na ito po ay ang true solution. So, sa checking po natin, syempre, simulan po natin sa P is equal to negative 4. So, kopyahin po natin yung original na equation po. Okay. So, what we are going to do, replace lang po, papalitan lang natin lahat ng P ng negative 4. So, we have negative 4, napalitan na po natin yung P. Saka yung isang P is negative 4. Kinopya ko lang po the rest of the given equation. So, unahin po natin yung nasa loob po ng parenthesis. Negative 4 plus 5, of course, that's 1 squared. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 raised to the power of 2 equals 37. So, 1 squared po is 1, and negative 6 raised to the power of 2 is 36, and 1 plus 36 po is 37, equals 37. So, sa makatwid po, si P is equal to negative 4, is the true solution po ng ating given na equation. So, check natin yung P is equal to 1. So, ganun din po yung P is equal to 1, is the true solution of our given quadratic equation. Sa makatwid po, si P is equal to negative 4 at P equals 1, ang solution po ng ating given na quadratic equation. Example number 3. 
Itong example number 3 po is actually an example of a rational algebraic equation na pwede po natin i-transform into a quadratic equation. Siyempre po ang gagamitin natin, siyempre yung given equation, kopyahin muna natin. Now what we are going to do here is uh, kukunin po natin yung LCD po which is the x and the 4. So 4x. So yung 4x po, multiply po natin in both sides sa equation. Yan po. And after this, distribute yung 4x in each term po na nasa loob po ng ating bracket ngayon. Okay? So mangyayari po, 4x times 6 all over x plus 4x times x minus 3 all over 4 at saka si 2 times 4x. So, after this, if you notice po, pwede po natin i-cancel si x at saka si 4. Ayan. So, what is left now is 4 times 6 is 24. x times x minus 3. And 2 times 4x po is 8x. So, after this po, i-distribute muna natin yung x sa each term inside this parenthesis. So, we have... 24 plus x squared kasi x times x is x squared. Si x my, times negative 3 is negative 3x is equal to 8x. So, transpose po natin si 8x sa other side ng equation. So, we have 24 plus x squared. So, negative 3x and negative 8x are similar terms. So, therefore po, i-combine po natin yan. So, negative 3x minus 8x, of course, it's negative 11x. I just arranged them para po maisulat po siya sa standard form ng quadratic equation. So, since this is already in the standard form, so pwede na po natin i-apply ang factoring. So, x squared minus 11x plus 24. Bakit factoring? Kasi yung coefficient po ng x squared natin is 1. So, madali lang i-factor. So, ulit, maghahanap po tayo ng dalawang factor na pag i-multiply po natin, ang result po ay 24, positive. And when we add po, dapat negative 11. So, we have x minus 8, x minus 3 equals 0. So, kasi po, yung negative 8 multiplied by negative 3 is positive 24. So, negative 8 and negative 3, when you add them, it's resu the result is negative 11. So, equate natin both to 0. So, simulan po natin ng x minus 8. Then, suppose po yung 8 natin, x is 8. At saka yung kabila naman, x minus 3 equals 0. When we transpose negative 3, that is positive 3. And again, hindi po natin masasabi na ito na po yung solution. Unless po ipapakita natin ang checking. So, when we check po, sisimulan po natin sa una, which is x is equal to 8. So, ulit, kopyahin natin yung original na equation. Ayan. So, papalitan lang po natin ang x. Ayan. Ng 8. Lahat ng x, palitan po natin ang 8. So, we have 6 over 8 plus 8. Pinalitan natin yung x. Ng 8 minus 3 all over 4 is equal to 2. So, 8 minus 3 po is 5 over 4. Tama po. Now, since itong 6 all over 8 ay pwede po natin i-reduce. So, it's divisible actually by 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, yung 3 fourth na po is ang atin na pong gagamitin plus 5 over 4 equals 2. So, since this is a similar fraction, kasi pareho po yung denominator, so add na lang natin 3 plus 5, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2 is equal to 2. In other words po, na ipakita po natin na ang x is equal to 8 is the true solution po ng ating given na equation. So, check naman natin yung x is equal to 3. So, pinalitan ko lang po yung x ng 3. And of course, that would give us 2 plus 0 kasi 6 divided by 3 is 2. 3 minus 3 is 0 divided by 4 is 0. So, 2 plus 0 is 2 equals 2. So, x is equal to 3 is also a true solution po ng ating given equation. So, in other words, si x is equal to 8 at saka si x is equal to 3 po is the true solution po in our given equation. Question number 4. 
Actually po, itong question number 4 is actually question number 15 ng 2019 Metrobank Deep Ed Math Challenge po. So, siyempre po, ang una natin gagawin, kopyahin po natin yung given na equation natin. So, what we are going to do in this kind of equation po is we will cross multiply them. So, kumbaga, si 2x minus 3 at saka 4x minus 6, multiply natin. At saka si 3x minus 8, 5x minus 11, multiply po natin. So, we have 2x minus 3, 4x minus 6 po, at 3x minus 8, 5x minus 11. So, we will be applying here the FOIL method. So, if you notice, ang result po ng 2x minus 3 times 4x minus 6 is 8x squared minus 24x plus 18 by the use of FOIL method. So, ganun din po yung gagawin natin dito. So, the result is 15x squared minus 73x plus 18. So, next na gagawin natin is itong expression na ito, itatranspose po natin lahat sa other side ng equation. So, we have this equation. So, if you notice po, uh, na-highlight ko na po yung lahat ng mga similar terms. So, ang ibig sabihin ulit is we will add them or subtract them because they are similar. We can combine them. So, 15x squared minus 8x squared is of course 7x squared. Si negative 73x plus 24x is negative 49x. Si 88 minus 18 is positive 70. Now, since si 7 is common po sa each term ng ating equation, ang gagawin natin, we will multiply 1 over 7 in each term po na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, if you notice... X squared kasi yung 7 makakancel na po. So, X squared. Negative 49 divided by 7 is negative 7. 70 divided 7 is 10. 0 times 1 over 7 is 0. So, sa mga tweet po, nasa standard form na po ang ating quadratic equation. So, pwede na po natin i-apply ang factory. So, the factors, we will look for two numbers na ang product po ay 10 at the sum is negative 7. So, tama po, x minus 5, x minus 2. Kasi negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. x minus 5 is equal to 0, transpose negative 5, that is x is equal to 5. Si x minus 2 equals 0 naman po, we transpose negative 2, of course, x is 2. Now, here po, x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 2 is actually the true solution of the given equation. At kung nagustuhan nyo naman po ang ating session ngayon, huwag nyo pong kalimutan mag-like at mag-share ng video na ito. At huwag nyo na din pong kalimutan mag-subscribe sa aking channel at pakipindot na din po ang notification bell upang ma-update po kayo sa mga susunod ko pang mga tutorial. Maraming maraming salamat po.